Good morning, guys, from the village of Tunte. Tunte, Gran Canarias. What a beautiful little village, just a few thousand people, maybe less. Everyone knows everyone. Today, we're hiking from here over this mountain pass to over 1,700 meters, over 5,000 feet, to another village. We're doing the Camino de Santiago of Gran Canarias. There's a guided route and it passes right through this village. You'll see the crosses all throughout the city signifying the Camino de Santiago, the pilgrimage. Now this doesn't go to Santiago de Compostela in Galicia. They've converted this into a form of the Camino de Santiago for adventurers like myself and Carlos here. Two, get to enjoy the great outdoors of the Canary Islands because it has a lot to offer more than just beaches and bars. So we're staying here, you guys, in this uh, house. We have it to ourselves. We got it for 60 euros, so we split it, 30 euros a piece. If you want, I can give you guys information in the link of the description, but check it out, Tunte. This side of the island is beautiful. There's a lot of uh, nice weather. Yeah, you guys, so join us on another adventure from here in the Gran Canary Islands. Hola, como amanecieron ustedes? Muy bien. Muy bien, con ánimo. Sí. ¿Qué haces hoy? Arreglando la pared. Sí. ¿Ustedes viven aquí? No, abajo no. en el sur. En el sur, en la Mapaloma. La Mapaloma. Mm. Yo sí, soy claro. Para, sí, más sí. Cerca, Qué bien. Kilómetros. Un saludo. Hasta luego, chicos. Hasta luego. Que tengan buen un buen día. Saludos. Now, the Canary Islanders, you guys, are very lovely people, very friendly, open, as you've seen in previous videos. They're always willing to say hi to you, to talk to you, to give you advice, and just to share their culture with you. Eh, ¿Hay churros? No. ¿No? Ahí vale. Hay pescado a Sancocho. ¿Sancocho? Ahí es Sancocho, tú preguntaste. Sí. Yo hay churros. ¿Tú siempre estás currando? Sí, siempre. ¿Eso es tu bar? Sí. Yes. Qué bien. Me gusta. Mr. Deutschland. Ajá. Austri Austriano. Austria. Ajá. Austria. ¿Cómo es vivir aquí? ¿Te gusta vivir aquí? Sí, mucho. ¿De dónde eres de Estados Unidos? Wisconsin. Ah, Wisconsin. No, yo siempre estaba en el sur. En Florida, Texas, Arizona. Toda la costa del sur. Viajero, tú eres viajero. Sí. Y llevas muchos años aquí, ¿verdad? Aquí, 30 años. Oh, 30 años. Y eso lo has escrito tú, ¿no? Seguro. Sí. <laughs> Bueno, aquí es un pueblo muy bonito, ¿eh? Sí, me gusta. Vivo aquí en el campo. Eh, qué bien. Calidad de vida. No, gracias a usted, que tengan un buen día. Gracias. Interestingly, I've met other tourists here or people that aren't from the Canary Islands up in these mountain villages, but they always seem to be from a place like Germany or Austria. That guy you just met was Austrian. He's been here for 30 years. Now that restaurant owner there said that I was looking for Sancocho last night. Sancocho is like a soup with fish, vegetables, a really nice broth. That's from here. And the Canary Islanders brought that to the Americas, to Cuba, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, etc., and made their own form of Sancocho. And that's because the Canary Islands, geographically, are the middle point between Europe and Spain, the Iberian Peninsula, en route to the Caribbean and the Americas. Que dulce azúcar, mm. azúcar que es importante, mm -hmm. porque puede haber bajón de azúcar, ¿sabes? Mm -hmm. Gracias. Te escojan lo que quieran. ¿Qué piensas de mi mo picón? <laughs> <laughs> la salsa secreta, ¿no? En la salsa secreta, ¿eh? Eso, no es, había eso es nunca. el truco, el truco de andar por toda la isla de Gran Canaria. Oh. Exacto. No te olvides del mojo pico. Con él no te aburres, se nota. Qué simpático. Ahora. Bueno, sí, 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 hombre, sin problema. Hasta luego. Muchas gracias por ayudarnos. Hmm. Very nice, uh, Canaria. Bye bye, Tunte. Hello, volcanic Camino route. Okay, you guys, so we've entered a different microclimate here. You can see the pine trees the last two days. Totally desert-like cactus, palm trees. And here we're entering an alpine area. And apparently you guys, we're gonna see some volcanoes today, I hope, or at least a mountain that resembles a volcano before getting to a beautiful town called Tejeda. 
and I'm with two guys here. These guys are from uh, Cantabria, and uh, one of them came here on his motorcycle on the ferry from Huelva, southern Spain. Already uh, having a great time here on this uh, start to the day. So a lot of people ask, Elliot, how do you afford these travels? Are you rich? Far from it, you guys. It's about being resourceful and having a budget, and also taking advantage of opportunities to find deals, meet people that know what's going on, where to stay. So for example, my flight here from Malaga round trip was 66 euros. However, I missed the initial flight and had to book a new one, but you can easily travel to the Canary Islands, to Tenerife or Gran Canarias for less than 100 euros round trip from most places in Europe. If you search ahead of time, and as I said before in other videos, lodging, food, really not that expensive here unless you're staying in really nice places. Quédate con él. No, porque lo... Sí, no te preocupes, que tengo, tengo más. Vale, muchas gracias. Es un buen producto. Échate ya. Vale, vale. Vale. Y afrútatelo si quieres. Ya lo tienes ahí, ¿verdad? Muchas gracias. No, hombre, no, que menos. Y ahora échate las manos y la cara un poco sí. en la oreja. Es que este, que... este se me escapa. Sí. <risa> es que él es muy blanco, se quema, ¿eh? Sí, sí, no. Pilgrims always look out for one another. I swear, you meet people on the Camino de Santiago, you guys, and you hardly ever have a bad interaction. It's a total different vibe. Or as they say in Spanish, otro rollo. Buenos dias. Buenas. Fuerza, fuerza. Gracias. Wow. She's running all throughout this mountain range. Canary Islanders, man. Whew. No doubt they're some of the best endurance athletes in the world. So far today is just a great day, you guys. Amazing trail here. Well, it's perfectly cut into the mountainside here and amazing scenery. I can't wait to get over this mountain range here to see what it looks like on the other side of the island, perhaps see the ocean as well. But one thing, you guys, when you do these long hikes, you don't want to get overconfident because, you know, in a few hours, I'm definitely going to be tired. Yeah, that's the truth. So never get overconfident. Take your time, go at your own uh, speed, and most of all, enjoy the Camino. Como vas? How are you guys doing? Good? Quite well. <laughs> yeah, we came up over there and it was terrible. Terrible, hard, hard, <laughs> yeah. difficult. Yes, it was uh, climb, climb, climb. <laughs> okay, thanks for the heads up, but, thanks for the warning. Uh, yeah. what, where are you guys from? Finland. Finland, all right. How yeah, do you say right. hello in Finland? Hey. Hey, how do you say goodbye? Nekemin. Nekemin, how do you say? And um, have a nice hike, have a nice adventure. Hyvää oh. matkaa, hyvää vaellusta. Yeah, yeah. But if you if you say moi, if you hear that someone say moi, I'm sure that he's from Finland. Okay. Where are you from? Wisconsin, United States. So we have similar climate. Okay. Similar weather. Cold, yeah. snow, many pine trees. Yes. So you are from the north of US? Yes, exactly. Oh, By Canada. Okay. Wisconsin. Wisconsin, Minnesota. Yeah. Okay, okay. Many Finnish, Finnish people moved, moved to our state many yeah. years ago yeah. and br brought their culture and food. Yes, it's similar. Yes. Uh, but uh, we were only studying Spanish. <laughs> okay. Pues entonces, que tengas un buen camino. <laughs> um, disfruta el paisaje. Y, y nada. Ojalá, oh. ojalá bueno. que pasen bien, ¿vale? Y muy, 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 muy. hasta luego. Very nice uh, Finnish couple there. As I said before, many Northern Europeans come here for various reasons, climate, to get to the beach, to party, but also to enjoy the beautiful nature, as you just saw. Carlo, ¿cómo vas? Bien. By the way, guys, I'm carrying two and a half liters of water. I have one bottle filled up, another liter inside my bag, and another half liter in my other pocket here. And I'll definitely go through all of it today because you can't always guarantee you're going to encounter a water source. When you're hiking in the northern part of Spain, 
and every few kilometers there's a fountain and you, you pass through various towns so water is usually not an issue but here I mean look at the landscape water's pretty scarce here Buen Camino Gracias. ¿De dónde son? Italiano Ah, bien, hablan bien español? Sí, sí, vivimos aquí Ah, ¿a dónde vas hoy? A Chira Chira, ¿está por ahí o abajo? Abajo. Vale. Suerte. Wow. Well, so you guys check it out. We came from down there. You can see into the distance. That's the Atlantic Ocean, Las Mas Palomas. Let's see if we can get a view of the other side of the island. Perhaps. Nope, not yet. We still have some uh, peaks to traverse. Okay, we're not there yet, but over this range here, we're going to be able to see the other side, which is going to look different. But so far, absolutely incredible, you guys. If you don't come to the Canary Islands on your travels to Europe, to Spain, you're really doing yourself a disservice by not coming to these magical lands, you guys. Oh, yeah. Beard oil is great. It's so dry up here. Oh. This trail is unbelievable. Snakes right up this rock here in the S to the other side where I can actually see the ocean far into the distance. Carlos! Cantabro! How are you? Bien? They say they're good down there. We're a little worried, you know? We wanna make sure our fellow pilgrim, you know, he's probably in his 60s, you guys. So. And his buddy went way forward. Well, you guys, good news. Jose Luis behind us has recovered. And now we've came to a flat territory and we're probably at or near the highest peak around 1700 meters elevation, just a touch over 5,000 feet. So I guess this looks a little bit like uh, Colorado. I don't know. Anybody from Colorado watch my channel? You guys can let me know. ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo están? Muy bien. ¿Todo bien? ¿De dónde son? Ellos franceses. ¿Y tú? Yo catalana. Oh, bienvenidos a la isla. Ah, oh, muchas gracias. Ella es muy valiente, mira. ¿Ves? Wow. So we're coming to get a view of a lookout, a window. Let's check it out. Man. Oh, hold on. Hay que tener cuidado, eh. Sí, poquito, eh. El helicóptero no me puede salvar aquí. No. ¿Cómo estáis? Bien. ¿De dónde son? Barcelona. Barcelona y francés. Gracias. Bonjour, bonjour. ¿Y usted? Estados Unidos. Ah. Hasta luego. Oh God, how beautiful. The ventana, the lookout, is worth it. Oh, Jesus. Is this what you expected with the Canary Islands, you guys? I gotta say, I saw photos, but it's more impressive in person. <laughs> and I think you can see Teide, Volcano Teide over there. Tio, esto es Teide. That's Tenerife in the distance, you guys. It's hard to see in the camera, but wow. You gotta come to the Canary Islands, you guys. Please, please. This place is like another planet. So I think, you guys, this is a rental car that you can rent and if you're traveling here in the Canary Islands, it's highly advisable that if you want to see places like this and not have to walk halfway across the island like I'm doing, then you want to rent a car. And the roads are really well maintained. Some of them are narrow, they're high mountain passes which are windy, but hey, if you know how to drive in Europe, you'll do just fine here and highly worth it if you want to get to know the true side of the island and get away from the resort area, the beach scene, and come explore the beautiful mountains.